Yeah, Mark, uh, I'm receiving many calls from different people from different camps and uh, most of the time, uh, you know, they have problem with authorities there or officials, people working there. They are referring to those people, Malteza, Yohanitas, Red Cross, Hotez Coins, and they don't receive an answer and uh, they don't know what to do, where to go, who to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be a nice idea to explain about them in this case when they have problem, what can they do, mm -hmm. who they can contact actually. Yeah, like um, the two of us had a phone call with a guy living in Dirty Camp recently who um, again asked for support because of a medical condition. Mm -hmm. And he turned to camp management and the camp management or the social workers there just said, yeah, we cannot do anything. Today is a Monday. Um, doctor will be, it will be here next Wednesday. You have to wait. Um, and this, of course, is a problem because like he had, has an issue with his heart. And of course, you want to have a check by the doctor as soon as possible. I mean, it concerns your heart. Um, so what the camp management says, and it doesn't only happen in this case, it doesn't only happen in that camp, is, yeah, we cannot do anything, um, wait. Um, it happens more so. Yeah. Um, but what they don't say is that they actually can do something, they can call Landesdirektion. And I think this is really important, the people living in the camps know that the Landesdirektion is, as you also said in our last video with Ibrahim, is the decision maker also on issues like that. So people should insist that they speak with the Landesdirektion. And how they can contact them actually? Any email address, phone, do they, uh, can they call them directly, send a letter, how it will work? We can um, provide some telephone numbers from Landesdirektion mm -hmm. like in the screen, uh, screen that uh, will pop yeah. up after this video. Um, but again, like people living in camps don't have to get in touch with Landesdirektion themselves. If there is a problem, for example, a medical condition, mm -hmm. the camp management just has to call them and then Landesdirektion has to provide um, maybe the cab to the taxi to get to the doctor. Mm -hmm. If you have a camp like Dölzig or also Schneeberg in Erzgebirge yeah. in the middle of nowhere, there are no doctors. Dölzig is an industrial them. area. Dölz and Schneeberg, there's a military base next yeah, to it. Yeah, absolutely. If you set up a camp in a place like that, then of course, okay, then Landesdirektion has to pay for, for the cabs to get people to, to doctor. And there is another problem, uh, you know, camp, uh, in the camps, the doctor working in the camps, they are kind of house art for refugees. Mm -hmm. And without their uh, permission or letter from them, they can't go to any other doctor and unfortunately I don't know how is it possible in Germany. Uh, they don't work on the weekends, Saturday, Sunday, they don't work and as you said, a guy has been there with problem, heart problem, something really serious mm -hmm. and they have told him that, yeah, you have to wait till Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So two off days, Saturday, Sunday, doctor was not there, two more days, she didn't, he or she didn't come. And how is it possible for four, five hundred people living there in a, and all have come from difficult situation with different sicknesses, mental, physical, I mean, uh, it's for me somehow strange. Yeah. Is it okay to not to have a doctor there in emergency cases, even they can't go? How, how is it? Mm -hmm. um, like the legal situation is that um, People who are in the asylum procedure for the first 18 months um, don't have, have, have a health insurance card. Um, this is the unfortunate thing mm -hmm. and the law. Um, but again, Landesdirektion can um, give like a shine, like a certificate mm -hmm. that they will cover the cost. Mm -hmm. The cost. Um, they can do this. Um, so the camp doctor who is there apparently in Dölzig only on Wednesdays, yes, he can do the, the shine, but at the end of the day, um, it's Landesdirektion who covers the costs for the doctors. And if you go to any doctor and you have the shine from Landesdirektion, the certificate, saying covering the costs, the doctor will be okay. Um, I only care that I get paid at the end of the day and if I get this certificate from mm -hmm. Landesdirektion, 
I have the security. Um, but so, I so Landesdirektion is actually in charge to, to provide that service. And if they only put a doctor in the camp like every Wednesday, it's not enough. It's but not enough. the problem is, uh, I got your point, but the problem is that they still have to get that shine from Landesdirektion. Mm -hmm. How? So the camp management um, has to, like, um, what you can do right now is pressuring camp management, saying we want to speak with Landesdirektion. Mm -hmm. I think this is already an important thing to know. Um, many people in the camps, as far as I got it, don't know what Landesdirektion is. Many of them. They file the complaints Chinese. either to the BAMF, which only deals with the asylum procedure, which doesn't deal with the camps, um, or the camp management, but the camp management is only the extended arm of the Landesdirektion. Mm -hmm. So if people go to the camp management and say, I want to speak with the Landesdirektion, I have this heart condition, and if you um, don't call them for me now, I will do it, or I will press charges, make it public somehow, um, then mm -hmm. they, they will do something. They will do something, but of course, this is only like a provisional solution. Like the best solution would be. Um, if you wanna, if you if you stay um, with the camps, um, that they have like doctors there or like um, like a bus shuttle going every day to the city and going taking people back so that they can see the doctors, something like that, or they just abolish the camps, <laughs> in the, especially the camps at Dölzig Schneeberg, but also Grillen yeah. more close to Dresden. Mm -hmm. Um, so people have the infrastructure of a proper city, which people need, especially when they apply for asylum here, because, um, you know, yeah. um, people who have escaped, who seek refuge, very often have medical uh, conditions. And it's definitely not enough to have a doctor in the camp only once a week. So whatever problems uh, refugees have inside the camps, and I mean by problems, questions about medicine, education, whatever else, mm -hmm. that they don't receive any answer from the officials working inside the camp, mm -hmm. they need to go to the land restriction exactly. or to contact them or... Yes. That's the solution you said. Mm -hmm. Also okay. filing requests, um, writing an email, stuff like that. Um, and just, yeah, request everything, like, like not only access to doctor to the health system, but also if you want to request for a transfer. Um, if you have a complaint on the camp management, on the security working there, um, what else? If you, like, uh, so the, the everything what belongs to everyday life, you know, if you have any request, um, Landesdirektion is the one in charge. That's and if you said, like, if you said officials working in the camps, the Malteser or European Home Care, it is in Dresden, they are not officials. They are not officials of the state. They are, um, kind of private companies, um, who have a job. And the job is, um, to support refugees, not to deny them access to the health system. Okay, thanks for your good explanation. I will share this video inside the camps. I will, yeah, so they can know about these things, these problems, when they receive no answer. So you need to go to the land restriction or call them, email them, yeah, and, and then they will answer you for sure.